hello, hope you're having a great day. Now, if you watch yesterday's video right to the very end, you'll know that I ended up sitting up till gone 2 a.m. watching this trigger point series that me and Kat have been watching. Uh, it's about a bomb disposal unit as ridiculous cliffhangers at the end of every episode. So you just you know, have to end up watching the next episode. We watched one episode together, and then when Kat went to bed, I just ended up sitting up until 2 a.m. I basically finished the series. She's not very happy about it because, you know, she wanted to watch that with me, but, yeah, the cliffhangers are just they're just so good that I ended up sitting up um, watching it. And I knew last night when I was sitting there watching it, I knew that, you know, I'm jeopardising my morning here, like, and, yeah, I still wasn't able to drag myself away from that programme, and as a result, I woke up this morning, you know, and failed to get out of bed. Like, even worse than yesterday. I actually didn't get out of bed until, I think it was 10, maybe even uh, quarter past 10. can't remember. But yeah, utterly failed. And, you know, it's my responsibility. It's my responsibility that I sat up late last night. You know, I should be strong enough to, you know, <laughs> drag myself away from the program and just leave it and, you know, watch the next, next episode with Kat. Um, but ultimately, even when I did wake up at half seven, when my alarm went off, all right, I was tired. And, you know, when I'm tired, my inherently lazy mind finds it easy to persuade me to go back to bed. Um, but I could have stayed up, you know. I always find that when I wake up at half seven and fail to stay up and then go back to sleep, the amount of tiredness I'm feeling then is way less than the tiredness that I'm feeling at half eight when I sort of wake up again and fail to get up and, you know, um, and then sort of fall back to sleep and maybe wake up at half nine, you know. So, yeah, the tiredness I feel when I've sort of gone back to sleep after failing to get up is always worse than the tiredness I'm feeling when I initially fail to stay up. So, you know, it's, it's not good enough. It's like I'm slipping lately big time. You know, I'm reverting back to my natural state. And this is the point, right? You know, I have to struggle every day basically to stay up at half seven, you know, even if I haven't sat up until 2 a.m. like an idiot. So I'm always going to be prone to revert back to my old standards, right? Which was, you know, just laying in bed until... I just didn't want to be in bed anymore, which is, you know, 10, 11 o'clock, whatever. Um, it's like a rubber band. You can stretch it for as long as you want, but as soon as you let go, it's going to revert back to its normal shape. And that's what's happening to me lately. I'm utterly failing. Like, And, you know, it is my responsibility, and I'm the one that's going to have to face the consequences for that. You know, I'm planning to get a video out on the other channel today, which still needs hours and hours and hours of editing. You know, maybe I'll fail to get that out. You know, in a way, I deserve to fail to get that out. You know, I've built up a bit of a momentum with like my videos lately on the other channel, and you know, I've kind of jeopardised that now because I failed to get up again. You know, the other thing is I've got boxing this evening, so I can't sort of edit the video on the other channel and like barely get it out at seven because I need to be at boxing at seven. So I need to be kind of wrapped up and stuff by six so that I can then get myself ready for boxing, go and get my car out of the garage, etc. You know, and I still need to edit yesterday's video on this channel as well before I go boxing. So uh yeah, something's probably gonna give and I've only got myself to blame. But you know, as usual, when I get up late, I know that I still need to go through my morning routine. I still need to do all the things that I have to do. I can't stop doing those things because they're the things that are keeping me on this, you know, healthy and fit life and this life away from drinking drugs so you know if if youtube and work and everything has to go down the pan then so be it like i, I have to just force myself to still do my morning routine and, and I've, that's what i've done this morning now i've gone for a ridiculous late walk around the block i've had a ridiculously late you know writing in my journal and i've had a ridiculously late meditation session and i'm sitting here at about quarter to 12 uh, talking to you guys and yeah it's time for me to bang out a workout then i can have a cold shower then i can have my breakfast and then i can dive into my work way later than ideal like ridiculously late you know and that's no good you know if i had got up at half seven i'd be you know well into doing my work by now i'd be feeling proud of myself for getting up at half seven but that's not the case so it's going to be another day where i'm going to be feeling a bit ashamed of myself for failing it's going to be another day where i'm going to get less done because i failed and do you know what that's what i deserve like you know there's no point me trying to make excuses for things because my mind will always make excuses for me you know it's all about not making excuses myself you know being honest owning up to where I've failed and, you know, just picking myself up and, and and trying. Well, I'm not trying hard enough. That's the truth. It might seem ridiculous that I'm coming on this camera every day and just, 
like kind of admitting that I'm failing and then failing again. Like it might seem pointless, but ultimately that's what's got me to where I am now, being honest about who I am, being honest about my failings, being honest that, you know, yes, my natural state is that I'm a utter waste man, like drug addict, loser, like essentially. And I'm basically battling against decades of being an utter loser, like to just try and be, you know, slightly not a loser, like, and I'm utterly failing, like, you know, a lot lately. And, um, yeah, I need to be honest with myself about that. Be honest with you guys that watch these videos about that, you know, because that's the only way that maybe, you know, if I actually start putting more effort in as well as being honest about these things, maybe I'll start, you know, being able to be less of a loser for a prolonged period of time. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm grateful that I'm living a clean and healthy life. I'm grateful that I'm not trapped in the cycle of drug addiction, but you know, it's not good enough to just not be a druggie. Um, you know, there's more to life than that. And ultimately, if I don't keep progressing, you know, then, well, if you're not progressing, then you're slipping. And I know what is at the bottom of that slippery slope and I don't want to go back there. So I need to do better. But uh, yeah, right now I need to focus on what's in front of me and that is my workout. On a Tuesday morning, I do abs. So um, yeah, going to do a set of sit-ups, set of the Russian twists holding my light dumbbells, then a set of, you know, lying on the floor with my legs lifted sh like slightly off the ground, 30 seconds. Uh, I'll use Alexa to count me down, of course. I'll do two sets of those three exercises and then I need to get in my cold shower quick without delay. Because, um, yeah, I've really been like scrolling a lot between the stages of my morning routine this morning as well, which is just making things worse. Like, it's, it's always the way. Like, if, if I'm failing, like, it's not even just, oh, getting up late. Like, you know, it's not. It's, you know, I'm getting up late. Then I'm sitting on my bed scrolling on my phone for ages. Then it's taking me ages to go through the next step of, you know, going to have my water, etc. You know, just, just scrolling on my phone. After each step of my uh, routine, I even found myself scrolling on my phone for 10 minutes after my meditation before I turn this camera on. So, you know, I either wake up and I'm on it and I attack the day and I'm really proud of myself or I wake up, fail and, and then just fail in loads of little ways throughout the day as well. So, um, yeah, it's no good. Anyway, let's crack on with this ab session. Oh, this morning I've been listening to a podcast where Noel Clark is on with James English on the Anything Goes with James English podcast. Noel Clark is the guy that wrote and acted in the movies Kid Adulthood and Adulthood. And um, yeah, it's really interesting. It's not someone that I've really looked into, but I've seen those films. Um, and yeah, one thing that's really interesting, he was saying how, you know, when he was younger and his, a lot of the people he used to knock about with were doing you know, naughty stuff, uh, even though he was sort of a, a street kid, he wasn't into all that, you know, he was a bit of a geek, you know, he liked his comics, liked his movies, etc. And um, yeah, a lot of the time he was refusing to get involved in, in stuff like that. And I can kind of relate to that because I felt like, yeah, kind of different than a lot of the people that I grew up. I wasn't into fighting and you know, I was scared of like fighting and confrontation and stuff like that. I was a bit of a coward. But, um, the difference with him is you know, even from a young age, he had the confidence to sort of be on his own. He, he, he was quite happy to be like, nah, I'm not doing that. I'd rather go home and be on my own and, and, you know, read comics or whatever. Whereas, you know, when I was younger, I always felt the need to be around people, like, you know, at any cost sort of thing. Um, whereas nowadays, I'm actually quite happy being a bit of a recluse. Um, but yeah, it wasn't always like that. But anyway, I'm going to carry on listening to this podcast while I bang out this uh, very late ab session. <laughs> So give me a 30 second countdown. 30 seconds. Starting now. Alexa, stop. All right, so it's now half six in the evening and I've got to be honest, today has been an utter flop. I just haven't been able to keep myself focused on my editing and stuff as much as I would have liked. You know, I've ended up having sort of breaks uh, where I just need to draw myself away from the editing. You know, I've, I've kind of got 
not the best attention span and sometimes I'm able to battle through and sometimes I'm not and today's just been one of them days where I just haven't been able to focus as much as I would have liked and yeah I just kept having to draw myself away and you know I'd watch videos on YouTube or whatever mostly educational you know sort of stuff you know not just you know entertaining um stuff but yeah just because I haven't been able to focus as much as I would have liked as I say I don't think I would have got the car video edited in time anyway because I utterly failed this morning and got up late but um yeah I just haven't chipped away at it as much as you know I would have been able to if I was able to focus more today in fact I ended up starting to edit yesterday's video on this channel too late for me to be able to finish it before going to boxing I need to leave for boxing literally now so um yeah it's just been one of them days where it has just been a flop now I accept that some days are better than others in general, but you know, a lot of this is just because I've got myself into a rut where I'm not getting up and I'm not attacking the day. Because um, yeah, for me, it's either I'm getting up on time, attacking the day, getting loads of stuff done, being really proud of myself, being able to focus, or you know, the complete opposite of that. You know, utterly failing to get up, then not being able to focus, then not getting as much done as I would have liked, and yeah, it's just all or nothing with me and. Um, yeah, today is just another day where, you know, I just I haven't been doing well enough. And, you know, it must change and it will change. I know it will because I know that I'm capable of not living every day like today is. And do you know what? It's good that I haven't got the video out. You know, it's good that everything hasn't gone uh, well because then, you know, I'm going to face consequences that I'm going to learn from it. You know, if if I sort of get up late every day and then I'm still able to get everything done, then I'm never gonna learn, am I? So yeah, today just hasn't been a great day, but you know, I need to put that behind me now. I need to focus on boxing because uh, yeah, it starts in less than half hour. So I'm gonna get myself to boxing now. I'm gonna go hard as usual, treat boxing as an opportunity to not only better myself, but also put myself through some suffering, actually work hard where I haven't worked hard at all you know, throughout most of my life, you know, that's what it's all about. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to come home and do a load of work because I need to get that video finished so that I'll free myself up tomorrow to get round to the garage. And this is this is the thing about momentum, you know, when when you lose momentum, it just it just affects what's going on in the future. You know, if I'd have got the video edited and got everything done and got yesterday's video edited on this channel, it would have meant that I could go to boxing come home, focus on showering and eating and not have to do a load of work. And then, you know, I could get up early tomorrow and then, you know, attack the day and get round to the garage. But now I'm going to be playing catch up. So, um, yeah, momentum is is key, you know, in anyone's life, I think, but especially mine. And yeah, when, when I lose momentum, everything seems to fall apart. But uh, yeah, time for boxing. All right, well, boxing was awesome as usual, but very intense. I mean, it's always really intense. You really have to push yourself. But tonight was, a, yeah, an especially intense workout. A couple of the people mentioned it. And yeah, got to be honest, a couple of times you know, during the session, I sort of felt out of my depth. But that is a regular thing. And it's just something you have to push through um, in that moment. And uh, yeah, we get through it. You know, our minds will always uh, make us believe we can handle less than our bodies actually can you know it's just all about pushing through i was body sparring with someone today that i had haven't ever body sparred with and he was actually about my size um not sure how old he was not super young but he might be a bit younger than me and yeah he uh, caught me with some some hard blows at one point i had to sort of stop for a sec like because he he caught me um right in the stomach it was a really good shot he's punching hard and he was sort of really clever about it so he was able to catch me up but you know what that's all part of it but um yeah after sort of the body sparring and the bag work and all that I was I was spent and then you know coach Saud set up like a, a little circuit training thing um yeah which absolutely killed me but yeah it's awesome I love pushing myself to the limit in boxing come out of there feeling really proud but you know what I put part of the reason that I was feeling a bit weak in there today um down to the fact that I've been failing you know with getting up with everything else you know to me it's all interlinked right and even when I came home you know before I'd even had a shower or had any dinner or anything you know thankfully my beautiful girlfriend cat knocked me up some dinner and I just like just 
you know, said leave it and I'll, I'll heat it up because what I needed to do was uh, finish editing yesterday's video on this channel, which I actually haven't put out today. So um, I'll put that out in the morning. Been slacking quite a lot in terms of the videos on this channel, if I'm honest, you know, putting them out late. Um, definitely been another example where it went out the next day. That might have been when we was in the hotel and I was struggling for Wi-Fi, but, but either way, you know, if I was more on my stuff you know i could have even got that one uploaded before we left to um go away and stay in that hotel that night anyway i digress you know when i was trying to finish the edit on yesterday's video on this channel like everything was going wrong like my, yeah you know at one point i did have a bit of a tantrum you know and i was sort of you know saying to cat like you know i need to give up all this youtube give up my cars you know the usual stuff that my mind will um fill my head with when i'm feeling negative but yeah i did kind of have a little bit of a tantrum but you know i'm lucky that you know, I'm always able to, you know, either in the moment or very shortly after, um, and it happened uh, literally a few minutes after, think about things logically and then, you know, I was able to sit there and talk it through with Kat, you know, how logically everything I was saying was nonsense and even if I was going to give up the cars, you know, it's not about making hasty decisions. You know, some of the stuff that I mentioned in yesterday's video, which is the video that I was trying to edit this evening, you know, and sitting there sort of and, and openly saying to Kat, you know, what I truly believe, which is that... I don't deserve to have these classic cars. I don't deserve to have a girlfriend. I don't deserve to have you know, a roof over my head. I don't deserve to have this great life, you know, all these people around the world that, you know, admire me and want to meet me and stuff. I don't deserve any of that because of the way that I've lived in my past. So, you know, I need to just crack on and work harder, you know. And, uh, yeah, if I do need to sell the cars, then, you know, so be it. I'm in a lucky position where even if the shit does hit the fan, I've got a load of assets and I can access tens of thousands of pounds you know, I'm not going to be absolutely bankrupt. So, you know, do I deserve to be in that position where I can sort of, you know, get myself out of the shit if it ever happens? No, I don't. So I should be grateful that I am in that situation, you know, where, um, yeah, it's not dire, nowhere near as dire as my mind is trying to tell me. But, you know, as I say, I'm lucky that I'm able to, you know, even if I do find myself like having a tantrum soon after, I'm able to see what happened and, Basically, what happened was my mind tried to make me hone in on negativity and, um, yeah, I got drawn into it. But, you know, a lot of people, they're not able to see what's happening uh, in situations like that, either in the moment or soon after. You know, they just carry on being led along by their mind and then they just go down the rabbit hole of negativity. So, you know, I'm grateful that I am able to see things like that. But just had to change the battery on the GoPro. But yeah, the longs and shorts of it is that yesterday's video on this channel, you know, isn't going to go out tonight. It's going to go out tomorrow morning or this morning. A few guys that are watching this video on Wednesday, you know, the video on the other channel that I was hoping to get out today and failed, you know, part of my plan was to come home and, you know, edit that before I go to bed. But then that's going to end up meaning that I'm staying up late and risking not getting up again tomorrow morning. So, you know, I've decided that even if it means that, you know, I have to use all day tomorrow to edit that video, then so be it. I'm not going to sit up and edit that to, tonight. I need to, you know, prioritise getting to bed at a sensible hour. Otherwise, this cycle of not being able to get up is just going to continue and, and that's no good. So, you know, I have to sort of live with the consequences of me not getting up and stuff more recently. And, you know, the consequences of that are, you know, didn't get the video out on this channel tonight, <laughs> didn't get the car video out tonight, not potentially not going to be able to go around to the garage tomorrow you know i need to face the consequences of being a day behind you know i can't keep getting up late and then still getting everything done you know because i'm not learning the lesson and then that could be potentially preventing me from um getting back on track with getting up um in the morning and look cats off work tomorrow so maybe i'll be able to go to the gym with her and stuff as well so yeah i think it's it's the right thing to do rather than just trying to chase my tail and um yeah, play catch up. You know, the answer is to not get myself in these situations. The answer is to work harder, get up early, attack the day. And um, yeah, then, you know, this crazy life that I'm living might be a bit more viable. You know, the reason it's not, the reason that I'm feeling negative, the reason that my mind's able to trip me up with negative thoughts, the reason that I'm feeling weaker in boxing, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's all because I'm not trying hard enough, you know. That, that is the bottom line and I fully believe that. So um, yeah, I need to do better. 
But yeah, right now we are going to go to bed. So I'm going to end this video. Massive thanks as always to everyone who's tuned in. I will be back for another video tomorrow because I'm stubborn. And even though my mind keeps telling me that I need to give up all this and stop doing what I'm doing, you know, I am stubborn. So I will be back for another video tomorrow. Until then, feel free to get in touch via Facebook, Instagram or email or just drop a comment below this video. But yeah, I'll chat to you tomorrow.